Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version for a brand new beta video. Today's beta version is 1.16.100.59. It is available for Android, Windows 10 and Xbox. Now, in this beta, the developers have outlined that they've re-enabled the Render Dragon engine. Now, with this being re-enabled, I'm going to show you guys how much it's been optimized and improved. So as you guys know, in my beta videos, I can typically have my render distance from 16 chunks to 80 chunks. Well, as of today, I'm able, at the minimum, to have my render distance at 32 chunks, but I'm able to bump this to 160 chunks. Now, I haven't tried this while recording, Previously, if I recorded on 80 chunks in the older version of Minecraft, it would cause so much lag. In the last beta, I showed you guys that I could run 80 chunks without any issues at all. So today, it's going to be a test. Am I going to be able to run Minecraft with 160 chunks without lagging? I'm also going to give you guys some form of perspective of how wide 160 chunks is. Um, but again, guys, I am running like a high-end graphics card, which is a 20... It's an RTX... GeForce RTX 2080 Super. Apart from that, I will leave the official chain stock down below, but uh, I'm not quite sure if my beta text hider works on the Render Dragon. It does. It does work on this version. All right, guys, um, before we go into another world, let's go to create. So I've speculated myself that the new experiment version, the holiday creator features, was going to be for a new holiday update this year. It has been confirmed that there is going to be no other major update for Minecraft this year. The next major Minecraft update is going to be 1.17. It's the caves and cliffs, and it's coming in summer of 2021. So what on earth these are for? I have no idea. But hopefully, this means that the Bedrock version on iOS, Android, Windows, and Xbox, Switch, PlayStation 4 can all access mods and add-ons and all that cool stuff without it just being on limited devices. All right, guys, I've already set up a world, so let's go and check it out. So my game, by default, is set to 30, 32. Like, it was 16, and I was okay with 16. I think 32 is quite insane, but it looks like they're confident enough that my Minecraft version can run this without any problems. Now, I still do not have access to the new achievement screen just yet. There's only a select amount of people. But what I do want to mention, guys, is there is a brand new free emote. Now, this free emote is called Fake Death. I can't entirely remember what achievement you have to complete to access this. It's completely free. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> you fall back, you sit up, you look around, and then you somehow on one leg suck yourself back into a normal position. It's completely free. Check it out for yourself. So we are starting off today with the Render Dragon has been re-enabled in this beta. Honestly, no idea that it was... Uh, disabled now because we have the beta text hider I can't show you but the render dragon is where it says render dragon up there This is a completely new engine for the bedrock version. So yeah, that's been re-enabled the next one for fixes performance and stability It says fix several crashes that occurred during gameplay So when you're just playing minecraft and the game just crashes Yeah, it's 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 been fixed moving on to the next one fix crash that occurred while flying slash moving around your world. So if you were flying around and your game just closed down or the apps closed down or it just blew up, then yeah, that's also been fixed as well. Blocks. It says here, yeah, signs can no longer be placed on end rods. And my question is, but why not? Like, is there a reason why? What is wrong with an end rod? So you could previously put this on the, what happens if I do it this way? We just keep doing this. Is it tech? Is it, can it technically go over it? No, it just goes between it. I don't know why. Minecraft developers don't like end rods. Like, I'm tapping. You can't do anything with it. So that's something else that's changed. Um, blacks. Oh, it's meant to say blocks, dude. Man, I try and do this without doing any spelling mistake. Blocks that can only be obtained with commands no longer have placeholder tooltip. So if I was to do forward slash give at p and we did command underscore block when you were hovering over this block it would have like an outline underneath and i think i might have the thing no it's not there 
No, it's not there. We do have a couple of bugs that I want to go over from the bug tracker. So yeah, like it doesn't outline. Underneath it would say like command dot underscore block dot. It was just something, just something really stupid. Fixed crimson slash warped roots and nether sprouts not generating in the nether. Uh, I never had this problem, but if you weren't finding warped crimson roots or crimson uh, or nether warts in general, these three, um, yeah, they were apparently bugged and not generating as frequently as they should have. The next one, walls converted from console edition are now joined properly. So, walls changed, I think it was in the last version of Minecraft, where you can kind of connect them. And if I was to put like a glass block inside of here, you can see here, they fully attach. So obviously the old console edition versions, the walls, like this little side right here, and here would not attach to this block. So when you converted the world, it was still classed as the older version of Minecraft. Uh, they now update. So for anyone who's been converting worlds, man, I haven't converted a world from console editions to, to Minecraft Bedrock in quite some time. A lot of people like to do it though for the custom flats. So if you're having issues there, that should have been fixed. The next one we have is a glass block. Items. Item lock icon and tooltip no longer appears when the show tags game rule is set. Fixed issue that was causing some item recipes to be missing from the crafting window. And I think that's exactly what I was showing you. So for example, guys, as you know, if you put the logs inside of here, it should show whole range of different things. Um, for some reason, it wasn't showing the blocks and other possible items that could be the outcome. So that's been fixed. Uh, I've had that issue before actually. So yeah, that's been fixed. Uh, armor no longer gets stuck in the hotbar after interacting with an armor stand. And I'm not quite sure if I have the bug tracker for this. Yeah, this is it. Trying to encrypt an item to an armor stand causes the item to become stuck in the inventory. It's been reported since 1.16.100.50 and was finally fixed in the latest version. Uh, it was actively happening in Xbox One and these were the rules to get it to reproduce. So if you had problems with armor stands and armor, Equipping, unequipping, uh, that's been fixed. So, guys, they've added the book and quill back to the creative inventory. So, last week, everyone was like, but why, Echo? Like, they literally just removed the book and quill. I had no idea why. Uh, if we go to this now, it's back. <laughs> like, they moved it. But why? Who decided? Someone one day decided, you know what? For a week, I don't like the book and quill. Oh, we're just gonna get rid. Everyone was like, why? Like, it's a great feature. It's super cool for like map making and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> it's been added back. Fix the profile button in the pause menu, not being sized correctly. Getting into a couple of different uh, command changes. So commands, added the ability to pick between different shake types using the forward slash camera shake. Now I know how to do this. It's forward slash camera shake, and then it's add, and then it's at P, and then you just do this one. No, there's another one. Uh, this. Oh, it's definitely a command. I think it's just at P. There you go. Like, why? Now, I imagine it's going to be for, like, map makers when they're doing, like, certain maps and they want to have, like, let's say you're going down an elevator or let's say they just want, I don't know what else you could do. But, yeah, this whole range is, a, I'm not a command user. Uh, I just seen this command and was like, I wonder if it works. Um, you can change it. You've got, like, intensify. You've got seconds you can make it. Ah, it's, it's crazy, dude. Have a mess around with it though. Maybe you can make some insane shakes. Uh, but I think it's mainly for map makers. Fixed an issue where custom items were not added to the to the creative inventory and therefore could not be used with commands. Add-on creators. I know so many add-on creators have been requesting this fix for a long time. So whenever a, a creator made a mod, right? It was not showing in the creative inventory. So you had to do it via commands and sometimes the commands would not work. A lot of the time, whenever someone adds a mod, it goes at the bottom, right at the bottom so you can tap on it. Let's say it's a custom uh, glass block or a custom, I don't know, bookshelf. They would be at the bottom, you drag them and you put them inside of there, just like anything else. Uh, there was a bug preventing it. So I know add-on users are literally waiting for this version of Minecraft to fully release. Fixed a bug where a request queued with the forward slash schedule would not clear out when executed and would execute when re-entering a level. No idea what that means. Added to the forward slash schedule on underscore area underscore loaded command an overload 
that allows you to track a circular area by specifying a center and a radius. Also added serialization for the queue of requests. No idea. Fix the issue with the schedule command that would consider an area loaded before it was actually loaded and the command now respects which dimension it is queued in. Well, we now have respect in Minecraft. Technical changes and read the change log. So we do have some technical changes. Uh, again, this is like the armor issues and this is the book and quill being removed for no idea at all. Uh, these are literally like the, the changes, guys. Add blocks. These are all components. You've got like uh, data-driven blocks, mainly for add-on scripting and map makers. For the standard Minecraft player like me or you, it's really not a big idea. It's not really uh, something we need to focus on. But, like I said guys, I can now whack up my chunks. So from 32, this is gonna lag, to 160 chunks. Now if it lags, I'll cut the video. We're going up. So at this point guys, I've cut the camera because my camera is lagging insanely, but this is what 160 chunks would look like on the Bedrock version. Yes, it's gonna cause a lot of lag. Yes, it's not recommended, but this is showing the true power of Bedrock. That being said, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you could be sure to hit that like button, I really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments section, how high can you put your devices, chunks? Have a great day, and uh, <laughs> catch you next time. Bye-bye.